In this module, I will discuss structure of eukaryotic chromosome. Now, metaphase chromosome, it consists of two chromatids. Yes primary constriction also known as centromere and a secondary constriction or nuclear organizing region. Now centromere or primary constriction it is a AT rich region that is it is rich in adenine and thymine and more than 90% AT are present in centromeric region. Besides, primary constriction and secondary constriction, the end of the chromosome is called telomere. Now the telomere end, it protects the chromosome and this telomere when removed the chromosome ends become sticky and it will fused with other chromosome so telomere protects the end of the chromosomes and it is rich in your guanine it sequences in almost all vertebrates tta ggg repeats are present in telomere Besides centromere or primary constriction in the centromeric region, a protein is present, it is called kinetochore. Now kinetochore, it is a proteinaceous substance and microtubules are implanted in the kinetochore and it helps in chromosome movement. Now, the chromosomes have a short arm and a long arm. They are designated by P for short arm and Q for long arm. So, this is the structure of metaphase chromosome. Now, the end of the chromosome, which is known as telomere. Now this telomere protects the chromosome from the action of enzymes and other things. Now if you consider the composition of the telomere, we will find the telomere is consist of 500 to 3000 TTA GGG repeat that is TTA GGA repeats are present and its repeats is 500 to 3000 in vertebrates. Besides this repeats they are protected by some telomere specific protein complex which is called shell tadding. Now this shelter is consist of team 2 TPP1 protection of telomeres 1 or pot 1 TRF1 TRF2 and RAP1 so this protein complex is called sheltering and it protects the this repeat sequences of telomeric end. Next we will consider the chemical organization of chromatin which is present in the chromosome. The chromatin is consist of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid and protein. Now proteins are of two types that is histone protein and non-histone protein. Among the histone proteins, there are 
H3, H4, H2A, H2B, and H1. And among the non-histone proteins, there are group of proteins, it is called HMG protein or high mobility group of proteins, HMG, high mobility group of protein. Now, among these HMG proteins, high mobility group of proteins, one of the important HMG protein is RNA polymerase, which control the gene expression. Now, if you see the histone or the chromatin under electron microscopes, we will find they are appear bead-like on a string. It is called beads on a string. So if you see chromatin material under electron microscope, we will find that chromatin material will appear as beads on a string. And these beads on a string, string, these are ellipsoidal structure. These are ellipsoidal structures and they are termed as nucleosome. This ellipsoidal structure which are seen under electron microscope as bead are known as nucleosomes which are unit of chromatin material. Their diameter is 11 nanometer and height is 6 nanometer. Now these nucleosomes are connected with each other by linker DNA and in the linker DNA H1 histone is present. Now this nucleosome is wrapped by your DNA molecule and histone protein forms an octamer and this linker DNA length of the linker DNA, it varies from 8 to 114 nucleotides. If you make a biophysical study on nucleosome, we will find the following informations. We can measure the radius of gyration. Now, radius of gyration, if you measure in case of protein, it is 3.2 nanometer, while radius of gyration in case of DNA is 5.2 nanometer, which also further proves that protein octamer is wrapped by DNA. This DNA is outside and protein remain inside. Now the height of the nucleosome is 6, nan uh, six nanom uh, nanometer and there is a two turns of DNA around this octamer. Now this diameter of DNA is 2 nanometer each. So 4 nanometer out of 6 nanometer, 4 nanometer is occupied by DNA molecule. Now, if you look into the structure of nucleosome, we will find it is a appears cylindrical and with two turns of DNA. So, in one end DNA it leaves and DNA enters and the point of DNA leaving and DNA enters are very close. So, structure of nucleosome it appears like a cylinder. Now if you undertake microcochal nuclease digestion, then we can obtain mononucleosome or core particle or core nucleosome. Now after microcochal nuclease, first we will obtain 200 base pair of DNA. That is, it is called mononucleosome that is 200 base pair of DNA wrapping the nucleosome. Now further trimming if you carry it out with microcochal nuclease digestion then next we will get 165 base pair of DNA which encircles 
the cylindrical nucleosome or core particle. Now further trimming is carried out and at last we get that is 146 base pair DNA which is wrapping the your histone octamer. Now this DNA is protected by histone protein. So core particle is consist of your histone octamer which is wrapped by 146 base pair of DNA and which we can obtain after continuous micrococcal nucleus nucleus digestions. So further digestions will not occur. Now if you look into the structure of histone octamer then we will find that is the histone octamer it consists of two molecules of H2A and two molecules of H2B that is they forming a dimer in the front side we are looking at H2A and H2B on the other hand H4 and H3 there is the two molecules of H3 and H4 which forms the kernel of the nucleosome and together they form histone octamers that is two molecules of H2A, two molecules of H2B, two molecules of H3 and two molecules of H4. So together they form histone octamer which are wrapped by DNA molecule. So histone octamer is wrapped by your 146 nucleotides diameter of the DNA is 2 nanometer there is a one histone H1 is there and diameter of the nucleosome is 11 nanometer. So next comes that is how these metaphase chromosomes are formed and how nucleosomes are linked with the metaphase chromosomes or chromatin material. Now it has been observed that if you look into the electron micrograph of human metaphase chromosomes there are 30 nanometer fibers are there, 30 nanometer fiber. Now this 30 nanometer fiber it consists of the helical coil of 6 nucleosome, there are 6 nucleosome per turn which are connected with each other by linker DNA. Now this 30 nanometer fiber which are formed by condensation or packing of 10 nanometer fiber and this 30 nanometer fiber with further packing it give rise to your metaphase chromosomes. Now this 30 nanometer fiber with 6 nucleosome per turn is called the solenoid model. This is the solenoid model uh, of your 30 nanometer fiber. So this 30 nanometer fiber with continuous packing it forms the metaphase chromosome. Now in this module we have discussed about the structure or organization of chromatin material and ultimate unit of the chromatin material is the nucleosomes which ultimately forms 10 nanometer then 30 nanometer fiber and metaphase chromosomes are formed. Now in this module we have, we have also provided key concepts and list of books for further reading. There are some quizzes and also we have provided study material so that you can download it and you can read it. 
so if you have any question please ask us and feel free to contact us thank you for attending our online course